Okay, starting from here, we are ready for the scary part of the workshop. Okay, we are ready for uh, customizing our distribution. Uh, in our wiki is present a good description of how to customize the image and how to customize the machine. You can uh, open this link uh, from your PC and you will find all the instructions. Uh, and we will we'll do this operation together now. They seem to be complex. No, absolutely not. We will see this operation one by one, and we also will see the, the result of this operation. So the first one is this, to set with the first operation that we need to do is to set up the environment. So distro, machine, and source the environment. After that, I suggest to check the possible uh, option of this command. So we make layer dash H, we print the uh, syntax of this command. And you can see that uh, you can add a layer, remove a layer, show the layers, show the overlay. Okay, so this is a powerful uh, command. We are using this command, bit bake layers, to create a new layer, meta my new layer. After we need to populate the, this layer, so we need to create a folder and we want to copy a, a, an example file for a, a new machine. We will call this my board. The same for the image. We need to create the path, the folder inside the, the new layer. And we need to add an example file, in this case, my image DB file. Last point is to uh, add the layer with the command add layer. And after we are ready for the build. Let's do this, this operation together. Okay, here I have my usual Linux. Oh. Okay, so distro. Okay, okay, this is the first time that I'm using because I've just uh, downloaded this. Uh, the source code, so I need to accept the license. Accept. Okay, next step. Con scratch bit bake layers dash h. Okay, need, mm, okay, here is the help. Okay, so what we want to do is to create the word is create layer, not create like this one. Let's see. Create layer, done. After we need to create the folder, copy the machine file, uh, machine file. Here, create the image folder and copy the image folder, the image file, sorry, Dash. my image. Oh, 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 oh. My image dot db. Last step, add the layer. Add the layer. Done, it's done. At this point, we can launch. Ah, okay, sorry. Okay, no, at this point, we cannot launch the build because we wanted to customize our files. 
And I can show you here how I customized my fan. I customized my board in this way. I started from uh, the, uh, the example, okay? After I changed my board, I changed the, the lab here, putting my board everywhere because this is my board. I decided to comment out uh, the stud that I don't want to use. So I comment out the stick card, the NOR. I don't want to use the stick card. And I comment out all the features because I want to reduce, I want to, to create a really small image here. I need to do the same with my image. And inside my image, I just comment out everything or just image feature, uh, double quote, double quote, extra install, double quote, double quote. I empty the image and you will see because I'm calling this my minimal image. After we are ready to build. And uh, okay, I cannot build from here because this process will last about from uh, two to six hours, uh, sometimes eight hours according to what's inside. So uh, I'm working from a folder where I've already uh, built all the distribution. So distribution package. From here, I need to launch the setup because uh, now I'm in a different folder. Here, okay, and from here I can big bake, big bake my image. Okay, uh, okay. In, in in this case, we will see that the operation will be very very fast because uh, uh, all the binaries, uh, all the image is already already built. Uh, so. Uh, I'm doing this uh, to save time and uh, okay, you can understand why we added the possibility to do a live uh, a workshop uh, asking you to build uh, uh, together with us. So, okay. Okay, done. That's done. And that's done. This is our custom image. Inside the my image, uh, the, on my board, you will find all the files that you can find in standard uh, OpenSP Linux starter package. But in this case, we are calling this my board. Okay. And now we are ready to flash. Okay. So, uh, first of all, again, I need to copy everything on my Windows PC. CP dash. Uh, uh, RL, not the guild, but okay, the, the output of a Yopto build is inside the TMP UBC folder, deploy images, and the name of the uh, image. I'm copying everything inside my user folder, TMP. So from here, CD dot dot, CD TMP, uh, slash, uh, STN, no, 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 so, DTP, flash, okay, here, okay, here is my board, and, uh, okay, I need to prepare my board, I change the, the switch, the back switch, Okay, my board is ready to be flash. You need to trust me. My board now is in programming mode. And I can launch my user script uh, flash layout. Uh, okay, follow the process from here. Okay. Okay, now it will take a bit more time than before because uh, we are flashing an entire uh, uh, LMC. Okay, now we are in the point where we are flashing the root FS of our system on the board. Uh, okay, while the operation is proceeding, I want to show you how I have configured the uh, flash layout. Okay, now it's done. Uh, you can see the syntax of the command. Uh, program files, I launch the program, Q programmer command line interface dot x uh, dash c uh, and uh, it points to the flash layout. Uh, let's see the script because it's very, very simple. So I'm just lazy because I can type everything by my hand, but I prefer to 
to create a batch file. Okay, what is done here? Uh, the first three lines describe the flash helpers. So the USB, uh, the trusted firm with the USB storage, the tip DDR, the tip for the USB. And after my image, I had to write the first stage bootloader partition one, the first stage bootloader partition two. I uh, delete and update the metadata, metadata. I wrote the uh, FIP partition on the MC. I clean up uh, okay, the FIP bit because I'm not interested in this. I had clean up the uh, boot environment and I brought the root file system with my new, my board root file system. Okay, at this point, we are ready to launch this image. Let's uh, check the console is here. Okay, I'm changing the uh, micro switch. I'm setting the board and let's see what happens. Okay, the system is booting. Done. Okay. I created very minimal installation. Uh, side, nothing, because I, I put inside the anity. So it is uh, 25 megabyte. Consider that the kernel uh, is very, very big because uh, I haven't optimized it. So uh, six megabyte of kernel. So uh, there are just, uh, okay, a lot of messages. Okay, so inside this file, there are uh, 25 megabytes. More than five megabytes after the kernel, so the default system is 90 megabytes, and we can reduce for another bit. But uh, okay, I, I, this is what I decide to do now. And uh, let's see another point: the mask uh, dash e my. Okay, okay, this is my board. As you can see, in the machine model, we set up my board. And uh, what else? Free. The RAM is uh, 4 gigabyte. And what else? The load of the system is uh, nothing. Uh, CPU. That is our, our CPU. Okay. That's all. Okay. Not, uh, it's not too difficult, just a set of operations uh, that we have to, to do. Uh, okay. I've launched this file. Uh, this meta layer, so uh, the meta layer that you need to create this kind of uh, minimal system is present in our hotspot uh, GitHub for this uh, workshop. So you can explore uh, what I've done there if you want to understand how, uh, what inside the image and the machine that you, if you remember, is inside the conf founder. And uh, if we have time, yes, I, I want to show you another, another uh, small uh, mm, configuration that I've done. Okay, now I want to reset my board again. So it is empty. And I want to run not the flash script, but another script. The script. run flash batch file. Okay, you will see what happens now with the same, with the same image. Okay, just a different configuration of the uh, flash layout. Okay, now the system is booting. Oh, sorry, now the system, uh, okay, the, the flash operation is started. And, uh, okay, I'm transferring the root flash to the system. And now the system is done. Okay. Done. Uh, what is done? Look here. Yes, no A, the minus H. There is no file system. There is no uh, storage. Why? Because in this configuration, in the flash layout, I said to Q programmer to write everything in RAM. So what I've done here is to uh, ask Q programmer to put in run the kernel, 
the device tree and my image rootfs for my board. And after I jump it there. And uh, as you can see, the, the, the system run, but uh, with uh, absolutely no, no uh, storage. So without any peripheral, you can boot the system without uh, uh, setting up any peripheral. This can be useful for debugging your board. And let's explore, uh, okay, you, you can find, you can find uh, the instruction for uh, doing this inside the, this repository. The RAMFS tools, inside the RAMFS tools, you will find uh, the RAMFS tool bit date file. And inside this, you will find how to create uh, this image. I, no, it's not an image, it's just a configuration, okay? And uh, I will also want to, uh, okay, this is the last, the last point, but it, it can be useful. Uh, how to use the external device tree overlay. Okay, this is a zip as well. And, uh, and when you see BB append, it means that it is an overlay. Uh, so external device tree works in this way. It overlay some variables. In the specific, the source URI variable, that is the path where you can find the device tree. Uh, I'm simplifying the thing, but uh, this is the concept. So uh, in this way, you are telling Yacht to use this device tree for the system. Usually this is an operation that you want to do if you have a custom board. So you want to use your own device tree. And this is the way how to use without changing the device tree inside the kernel. You can keep all the, uh, the tree inside the same folder. And here yeah, is the part where you can find the device key for the Linux kernel, for Opti, for uh, the uh, trusted firmware, and for Google.